Okay, there's at least a couple ways to do this problem. But here's an idea. Instead of using 100 meters when we solve it, let's, let's just let the length of the wire be represented by W and see if we can come up with the general formula for the place where the wire should be cut so that we get the maximum and or minimum area of the two, two figures, a circle and a square. So I've chosen, here's the wire length w i've let chosen to let x be the length of the wire that's going to be turned in or bent into a circle so w minus x is the length of the wire that's going to be bent into a square and so this distance right here x has to be the circumference of the circle so x has to equal 2 pi times the radius i'm doing that so we can find an expression for the radius in terms of x so that we can find a formula for the area of the circle. So r equals x over 2 pi. So the area of the circle is pi times the radius squared, which reduces to this right here, x squared over 4 pi. As far as the square goes, this w minus x has to be the perimeter of the square. So if we let each side of the square be represented by the letter s, 4s has to give us w minus x. So s has to be w minus x over 4. That means the area of the square is the side squared, w minus x squared all over 16. And so by adding these two expressions together, we have a formula for the total area of the two figures. So let's see here. I kind of ran out of room here. Here we go. So there's the function. Total area is x squared over 4 pi, this guy, plus 1 16th of w minus x the quantity squared, where x has to be between 0 and w, or in this particular problem, 0 and 100. <clears throat> uh, if x is 0, that means there's no circle. We've got all square. And if x is 100, we've got all circle, no square. OK, if we take the derivative of that function, set it equal to 0, we'll have the critical numbers some relative maximums and or minimums. Uh, so t prime is x over 2 pi plus 2 times 1 16th is 1 8th. Reduce the exponent by 1. Chain rule multiplied by the derivative of the inside. Remember, w is a constant. So there's the formula first derivative. Set that equal to 0. I would go ahead and multiply every term by... 8 pi to clear the equation of fractions. So that gives us 4x minus pi times the w minus x equals 0. If you solve that for x, you factor out an x. So you get pi plus 4. So x equals w pi divided by pi plus 4. So the question is, does that generate a relative minimum or a relative maximum? Well, if we take the second derivative, we get this, and that looks like for this domain, the second derivative is always positive. And therefore, we've got like a smiley face, and we get, so it's concave upward, so this critical number generates a relative minimum. And now if we want to find out what happens when x is 0 or when x is equal to w, we have to substitute those expressions into the function. It turns out t of 0 is 625, t of w is 795, and t of that critical number is 350. That's the relative minimum right there. That's the minimum area. That occurs when you cut the wire so that you get w 100 pi over pi plus 4. And the maximum area occurs when we've got uh, all circle, okay? No square at all. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.